I'm now broke down. I've confirmed that it is an electrical issue. And now a tow truck's got to be called. Pretty sure I have to go get in the hotel room. And I'll be down for the weekend. Nobody's going to at least be able to see me until Monday. Then we got to figure out when we're going to get the parts. Can't make this up. <laughs> so I just got off the phone with a tow truck driver. We finally found a mutual point. A reference point and he does have to come up and do a loop and come back down to get me he's like oh I talked to your company I quoted you for this price but since you're there and I gotta come there and do the loop it's probably gonna be a little bit more like I got a choice I'm like bro it's six mile difference from the point we was talking about y'all tow truck drivers are killing me I know how y'all like to rape truck drivers <laughs> it's all good bro it's all, like I don't I don't have no choice. We get stuck. So what should we do? Sixty-two mile tow. Damn. And I wonder how much they charge per mile. All right. So this is the situation. Thirteen hundred dollar tow bill. But I'm smart. So we already got the truck separated from the trailer before he dropped me long story don't feel like going into it right now a little frustrated but the truck is separated from the trailer i'm taking up two parking spots at this place they charge 13 dollars per spot per night so i think i'm up to like 55 60 bucks just for parking for the next two days today's saturday Somebody has to come back and pick this trailer up and finish the run. I tried calling the dispatcher. <laughs> no answer. It's Saturday. They ain't working. They don't care. It's probably going to get picked up Monday. Trailer lock is on the trailer. I'm getting something to eat. My tattoo guy is actually come and pick me up from Dallas. We're going down. Sleeping in his house tonight, me and the dog, and then we're waking up and then going to the tattoo shop. Because I got it like that. I'm blessed, I guess. But uh, yeah, that's how things are going so far. And the truck does not run, by the way. So Monday, or whenever they're ready to get into the mechanic shop, I got to call another tow truck, get it towed in the mechanic shop. Yeah, so it's probably going to be like $500 to move it from here to there. The teeth guy called me, paid for the teeth, so for the top and the bottom to get customized, uh, $3,000. So I'm going to just uh, keep you updated the best I can with all the money I spend and everything that goes down this weekend. Uh, I hope I'm still in business by next week. So I got to check back Monday. I don't know when the truck is going in the shop. Then once it gets in the shop, I don't know how long it's going to be in the shop. So stay tuned. So yeah, it's good money driving trucks, but uh, I don't know if you're ready for this life. Alright guys, so having a rough weekend as you know. Check it out. They got a new Four Loco design. New Four Loco flavor. Gotta try it. Why not? Just so all you guys know, you cannot have alcohol in a commercial vehicle. So, I will not be getting in the vehicle while drinking Four loco. This can will not be in the vehicle. Alright, so, it's the next morning. I'm awake. Try not to wake anybody up. Oh, and I'm so grateful that they was able to host me. I appreciate it. I wake up today, get the tattoo, start on it anyway. But tomorrow's Monday. Tomorrow's business day. See how that goes.
So it's Wednesday, 4 a.m. Just got done with a four hour workout. Still can't sleep. Giant Dang's opens at 10. Dennis office opens at 9. Gotta get all this done and get back to work, baby. Six o'clock in the morning. Just as I was falling asleep. Parental advisory. My friend who also drives trucks, who's a dickhead, calls me 6 o'clock in the morning, wanting to talk. Told him I'll call him back later. Fucking asshole. <laughs> Love you, Giancarlo. 9 a.m. It is now too hot to sleep in Texas. If I'm uncomfortable, I know the dog's hot. Barely got any sleep. Got to turn on the AC, get about an hour of rest. Might snooze it for 30 minutes. That's the plan. Nowadays, people tend to look over the real art of DJing. 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 All right, just got done with the workout and got done uh, walking to get food. Gonna try uh, Wingstop's new chicken sandwiches. It's basically just a chicken on a bread, which is disappointing. No lettuce, no tomato, no onion. It's just a chicken patty, pickles, and bread. And then I went, walked to Whataburger to get a salad, just a plain old salad, throw a chicken on top. I gotta change my eating habits. Uh, however, this is a large shake, one of those banana pudding shakes. So it, it's work in progress. All right, let's just say that. Now I'm about to head over to um, JJ's. He runs Born to Rain Gaming on YouTube. We're gonna do some reactions together as usual. So, if you're not following, make sure you follow, subscribe, like, comment, all that crap, all right? All right, time to do work, baby. had to wake up this morning and look and uh, pinch myself and make sure this is really real. <laughs> so gotta go to the dentist today. Uh, we're gonna take impressions or he's gonna check my bite and then we have to take pictures. Final pictures. We're gonna let my gums heal from the procedure yesterday. And then heading out. Back to trucking baby and that'll be the end of this vlog. Alright guys, so before we end this vlog, 
I just want to give another shout out to my tattoo artist. He's actually my all around artist. If you guys have paid attention to my poker career, I have some custom card protectors. <laughs> People tend to look over the real art of DJing. 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 This is the same guy who makes them. He does tattoos, artwork, uh, you name it. He does it. But uh, shout out to him for making all my stuff. Shout out for coming and grab me. Shout out for all the hospitality that him and his family have showed me during my stay in the Dallas area. Uh, he's Cuban, so him and I went ate Cuban sandwich. At a beautiful restaurant, very Cuban culture. I learned a little bit. He also turned me on to some delicious salads. I'm usually not a salad eater. I do have to change my diet. Because working out isn't enough. If you don't have a proper diet, you'll just destroy the workouts. So yeah, I'm a salad eater now. Also, he turned me on to a lot of movies. I haven't owned a TV in like six years. So he's got all the cable stuff. Netflix, Hulu, HBO, Disney+. Plus. So he turned me on to a lot of good shows. had a blast man we just did tattoo work went places ate Nowadays, people tend to look over the real art of DJing. 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 So I can't thank you enough. I appreciate you, sir. Also, again, make sure you guys go follow Born to Rain Gaming. I always go see him and do reactions every time I'm in Houston. Uh, him and our playlists are a little bit different. So he introduces me to stuff off of his playlist. And I introduce him to stuff off of my playlist. And that's the unique portion about it. And it's all raw and uncut. I mean, I've been knowing uh, JJ of Born to Rain Gaming since high school. And also, shout out to Brownstone Dental. Appreciate the dental work. You and the staff did an excellent job. 
And of course, I can't end this vlog without mentioning Johnny Day. The company is excellent. Now, I'm going to be making uh, other vlogs, like the story on my teeth journey. This was not an easy journey. This took me probably about a year to put together. Almost a year. And then also head tattoo, how you take care of them, the process, is it painful? So I'll be making both of those vlogs. Look out for both of those vlogs in the description section below. By the way, if you can avoid it, don't break down and text Arcana. Don't take your truck to that rush center. There's no way that you can convince me that it takes almost four days to test drive a semi-truck.